Hello fellow crafters, Jen here with a quick tutorial showing you how you can take an image that was saved as a PDF and open it in Inkscape and convert it to an SVG. So the first thing we've got to do obviously is be in Inkscape and then import that PDF. You have three options for importing. You can come over here and hit this little paper that has the arrow pointing to the right uh, coming in from the left. You can come up to File and Import, or the keyboard shortcut is just Control and the letter I. That's going to open up your Explorer window to find the file that you're wanting, and we're going to use this one that I just created, and it's going to give you your import settings. I usually just leave these how they are. You can preview right here to make sure you're on the right page. If there's multiple pages of the PDF, then you can just click through them right here and they'll show up right here. Um, so that way you can make sure that you're just pulling in the one that you're wanting. Once you have that, just hit the OK button. And here it is. So I'm going to make that a little bigger for us. So something you'll notice is it's got this white background. So I can't really do anything with this. But I look down here and I see it says it's a group. So that means what I want to do is ungroup. So I'm going to hit the ungroup. Uh, you can either use the little shortcut key over here on the side. It's the blue circle and yellow rectangle. Um, object ungroup or control shift G. Um, you want to ungroup until it tells you down here that there's no more groups. So I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to ungroup. Ungroup. Now it finally says no groups. Okay? So now I have this here. There was nothing there really to ungroup, but it thought that there was, so we ungrouped everything. So now I need to get rid of this white. Well, the quick and easy way to do that is to do a trace bitmap. You can come up to Path, Trace Bitmap, or the keyboard shortcut is Shift Alt B. It's going to open up your trace bitmap screen. Uh, the default, I think, is this. And so I always put live preview. That way I can see what's going on right here. And then, hold on, let me set this. Sorry, hold on. I'm pretty sure I'm clicking on the right thing. Let me make sure. Yep, I'm on the image. Oh, probably brightness. I need to go to colors. Sorry. Thought I was doing something wrong here. And since this is just a two color image, I'm going to change this to two. And by two, that means the white and then one other color is black. So I'm going to change that the scans to two on my colors. You could use the brightness cutoff, which I typically do for something like this. I would just need to adjust this. Um, until it got, you know, to a good depth of darkness, if that makes sense. But the color, the color scan usually does pretty good uh, for two. I hit remove background. I uncheck those. Now I'm going to hit OK. And it's working. And now it's done. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to. The first thing I always do is change the color just so I know that that's the the SVG one. Move it. Remove the old one. And then now you have your nodes and everything. So this is now your cut file. So then you would just, you know, save this as your SVG and then go on and use it, you know, with whatever you need to use. And if your original PDF was multiple colors and you did the two color there, you can always break this apart and, you know, create your other colors. You know, that, that's a whole other tutorial for another day. Um, but for something that's basic, just black, you can just do that, and then you're done. You can save it, remove this out of the way, and you've got your SVG. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have an image that was saved as a PDF that you're needing to turn back into a vector. So I hope you guys have a great day. Happy crafting.